Hey y'all. Sorry we are a minute late. Um, I am trying to add Allison so that she can get on here with me. Let's see. Give us just a second while we're getting this. Y'all can be inviting your friends to hop on. Um, and we will get started here. Allison wants to be in my video. See. All right, give us just a minute. We're new at this, so <laughs> give us one second. It's trying to add her, and then as soon as she hops on, we will get started. I'm excited, excited to be doing this tonight. Um, so here we go. There's Allison. Hey there. Hey, Can we got me? it working. <laughs> yeah. We did. Awesome. Yay. We are so glad you guys are here. We're here to talk about sugar. Yay. And um, we're both excited about it because we have two completely different stories about sugar. Yes. And um, so one of the things I was thinking that we would um, just kind of chat about a little bit while people are jumping on is, I mean, who out there has never had a relationship with sugar that they don't like? Most <laughs> all of us have, right? Give us a shout out. Yes. Um, so Emily and I decided that this would be a super good subject to talk about. Yes, Krista, uh, because sugar is something that starts like when we're super young and when we're kids, we, we, we get it as a reward. I mean, as parents, don't we give it as a reward at times and everywhere we go, sugar's there. So sugar's there when you go to church, sugar's there when you go to the office, holidays, sugar, so it is everywhere. And that's why we picked our title. <laughs> so um, we're super happy to be sharing about it tonight. Yes, absolutely. So <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say sugar is everywhere. It's literally everywhere. Um, my son came in earlier and he had two suckers sticking out of his mouth. And I was like, where did that come from? He's like, we got it from church. Okay. Great. Yep. So we, it's, it's hard to avoid sugar because it is everywhere. It sure is. It sure is. We have like a love relationship mm -hmm. with it. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the way we're going to do our evening tonight is we're both just going to introduce ourselves, where we're from. We're going to give e you guys a short uh, um, intro as to why we came into Plexus and our sugar story. And then we're going to get a little slightly nerdy with you guys and give you guys some facts. So uh, my name is Allison. I am from Northern California up in the foothills. And I have six kids, and I am married to a UPS driver. And so hopefully all of you guys out there were good to your UPS drivers in December because they were working <laughs> their booties off for you. So, and this is Emily. Oh, my camera is shaking. Um, hey, y'all. I'm Emily. I am from Georgia, born and raised Georgia. Definitely a Southern girl. I am a stay-at-home mama of two, and I love what I do. I am... I love to travel. I love to just have fun. Um, mm -hmm. Anything that's fun or loud, I want to be there, and I want to be all up in the midst of everything that's going on. So um, I am going to talk to you a little bit later on but um, about my story. But right now, Allison is going to share her story with us. Tell us a little bit about her sugar story and how she got involved with Plexus. Yeah, so I did not get involved with Plexus for sugar control. I really did not think I had an issue there because I was a very clean eater, organic, non-GMO, and I, I, I sourced my food really well, really, really well, you guys. So I'm going to start off why I came in. I came in because this girl right here was not sleeping. Like, I was not sleeping really bad. It was very chronic. It was very severe, and the doctors really couldn't get um, a handle on it. I also had a body rash and I was really, really anxious. Um, I had panicky feelings. I was having real hormonal, real hormonal stuff. So I, you know, I'm 47 and um, this was about four years ago, three years ago that I started Plexus and I really shouldn't be having perimenopausal symptoms. And I was, it was like I was going into menopause. So that was all happening. I had digestive issues. 
And um, I have one other one. I had really low energy. So you guys have to remember, I was sleeping literally like 14 hours a week. It was really bad. And I was very stressed because I was taking care of my little boy. And my little boy had, had an autoimmune condition that made his health super, super severe. And he was very, very difficult to care for um, medically. And um, he also had, you know, bloating and digestive issues and lack of nutrients. And he, he really couldn't eat hardly any food because of all his digestive, you know, issues. So he, he, he was off like 11 food groups, Emily, like 11 oh, food groups. I mean, he could pretty much have meat and slow cooked vegetables. Um, so that is kind of how I came in to, um, that's how I came into Plexus was very, very ill. And one of the things that I, I, one of the things I started noticing was, first of all, energy and my brain fog was lifting, but my sugar, I had prided myself because I went to the co-op and I went to Whole Foods and I got all the best sugar, you know, evaporated cane crystals and raw this and, you know, cut up dates to make my cookies. But what I didn't realize is that I had been rewarding myself almost daily. You know, I would re reward myself for having a good day. I would give myself sugar for having a bad day. Um, and I just thought, you know, Hey, I'm getting nutrients in this. So it's, it's all right. But when, you know, as we're going to talk to you guys about the facts of sugar later, sugar is sugar is sugar. When it goes into your body, sh your body doesn't go, Ooh, that's organic. That's GMO. <laughs> we like it better. We'll process it in a different way. It does what it does. So that is my story, and my little boy is thriving, and I'm thriving, and one of the things I want to say before I pass it over to Emily, my husband, who's a UPS driver, if you guys work in the service industry, is anybody out there in the service industries, like, you know, you're a teacher, or you're, you know, you're a truck driver, um, sugar is a pick-me-up, so though a lot of you guys out there, my husband included, he would, he would drink soda all day long, or power aids, and you know, donuts, and they stop at convenience stores all the time. I see him on here now, and they they have to get sugar. Well, my husband started Plexus, and he, you know, he was at the top of his game. He wasn't sick like me, and he just started not liking it. So he's off his soda and his Powerades, and he doesn't eat donuts anymore, <laughs> and he hardly eats pancakes. So that's a that's a really big deal for a UPS driver to be able to do that. So. Anyway, I'm going to pass it over to Emily now. Awesome. My story is on the whole other end of the spectrum because Allison was very crunchy and very into health and natural things. I was absolutely not into any of that. <laughs> absolutely not. And I actually got started with Plexus just because I had heard some good things. I had talked, I had a cousin that um, was taking the product. She'd been on for a while and she's really crunchy. And so I knew that the products were clean and natural, but that was the extent of my knowledge. I had no idea what they did other than I knew some people had lost some weight. I wanted to lose some weight. So I decided to jump in. Um, no idea what else was going to be coming out of this, right? So if you would have asked me when I started, if I was unhealthy, I would have said, no, I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly healthy um, because I didn't have any major illness. I wasn't diagnosed with anything. I wasn't taking daily prescription meds or anything like that. But if you'd have kept on asking me questions and digging a little deeper, you'd have found that I was sick constantly. I was always having respiratory infections like four or five and six times a year. So I was taking a lot of antibiotics and steroids, you know, throughout my life. And just that kind of thing. I had really bad digestive issues, seasonal issues that were terrible, especially in the South where our pollen count is through the roof, like 90% of the year. And I lived with constant, constant body aches. And nobody could tell me why my body hurt, but it did all the time. And so I ate over-the-counter pain medicine like candy just so that I could survive. That's, that's how I lived. But on top of all of that, I had a majorly horrendous sugar habit. I had to have my sugar always. And if you know me from previous. I started Plexus in 2015. So if you know me anytime before that, I can almost guarantee that when I pop in your mind, you see 
me standing there with a McDonald's sweet tea in my hand because I always, always, always had one. When I left my house, I would go run through the drive through grab me a sweet tea. I kept it all the time at my house. That's all I drank except Dr. Pepper. Those were the only two things I drank. I never drank water. I hated it. Um, so I was majorly, had a lot of sugar going on. And in the deep south, I mean, we have the sweet tea, you know, where people pick at us and they're like, you know, the spoon will stand straight up in the picture, in the pitcher because of all the sugar that's in it, right? But that's what I was doing 24 seven. Like I kept a glass of sweet tea by my bed at night. Some people have a glass of water. I had tea. I had it all the time. It was terrible. And I had candy with me all the time too. If you needed Sour Patch Kids or a little mini chewy sweet tarts, I was definitely your girl because I had them all the time. And I knew that that was not good for me, obviously, you know, but I really didn't know the extent of long-term damage that I was doing to my body until I got started with these products. And once I did, I began to see things changing, like my digestive issues cleared up, but just in a couple of weeks started improving. I noticed that I would go several days without taken any pain medicine and that was something I hadn't done in years and years and years so that was incredible and then really weird things happened started happening I would drive by McDonald's and not pull in and I was like what is happening to me I would go to restaurants and actually order water because I wanted to drink water and I had never ever in my life drank water ever but my body was craving it and that was a weird thing for me to handle because I had never done that. And then I had a moment. It was in 2015. I don't know exactly when, but it was a major moment in my life. We went to the movies, my husband and I, and we got our tickets and we went by the concession stand. And I could not pick out candy that I wanted. And I was getting frustrated because I always picked the same things, but I literally did not want it. And so I got mad about it because I wanted my candy because that's what I was used to doing, you know, but I, my body did not want it. So I sat through an entire movie with no candy and that was monumental in my life. <laughs> like it seems insignificant, you know, to a lot of people, but it was a very big moment for me. So that's when things kind of started changing and I was wanting to know what was going on, what was happening in my body that was making me want these things that I did not ever want before, you know. I was giving up things that I loved, and I didn't know why. So I started researching, looking into all of this, and had to learn all the things. Why is this going on? So what I found was all of this sugar that I had been consuming over years was throwing my blood sugar way out of balance, which messes with your gut health, and that creates inflammation in your body, it's just a big, big snowball of problems that come from sugar. And I had no idea beforehand, but I'm so thankful I do now. Um, and all those years of overload just wreaked complete havoc on my body. Um, and it's just a vicious cycle because the more you want, the more problems you have, the more you want, and it just goes over and over. So I was really, really, really thankful for slim in my life our pink drink i know everybody out there has heard of our pink drink here's our little there's my bag we all love our pink drink i know y'all seen our pink drink selfies and it's just we love it so here's what is so awesome about slim it is it works to balance your body first of all which is incredible because when your body's out of balance you don't feel good. You just feel bad. And that's when those sugar cravings come in and all of that kind of stuff. But Slim was actually created as a tool to keep your blood sugar balanced all day and keep those levels, you know, regulated throughout the day. And when that doesn't happen, your body goes up and down and up and down with your blood sugar levels. And that's when you see things like that 2 p.m. crash when you just have got to have a nap or you're not going to make it, or you've got to have a Coke or a candy bar. You're just hangry all of a sudden, you know, like, give me food. And that's happening because your body is saying, I need something that you're not giving me, and what that is is balance. So it's wanting those things to bring your blood sugar back to where it needs to be. And once it gets that, you're good for a little while until it goes back, you know, up and down again. 
but slim keeps that from happening and it keeps it just balanced all day long and the wonderful wonderful ingredient in slim that makes that happen is chromium if you are not familiar with chromium go google that tonight look up the benefits it's an awesome awesome ingredient and we love it because of that balance and properties that it has um when our blood sugar is balanced when we're getting all the chromium when we're drinking our slim good things start happening our bodies start craving those good things like water and you know not wanting candy they start wanting good healthy foods and it's so much easier to make good healthy choices and that is that's where my story came from was my body was balanced and so I was not wanting those things anymore I was able to take control of that sugar craving and move on to something else. It wasn't just a matter of willpower for me. It wasn't just a habit. It was my body had to have that stuff because of what I was feeding. And all of that sugar that I was giving it, it feeds bad bacteria in your gut. And I had no idea. And the more it gets, the more it wants. And I was just letting it party in there, I guess, because it just could not stop. So and most people think that it is just like a control. Like I just can't, you know, I am not strong enough. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough control to do this. And that's, that's not it. Your body, your body's calling out for it saying, I need more. Feed me. That's feed exactly me. right. And that's what mine was yeah. doing. You know, it was because I was 24 seven feeding it. It was just going wild. And that's where all of my other problems were stemming from was that, overload of sugar that it was getting so um i'm gonna let you take it allison and talk a lot more about the gut health part of it and that that's where the rest of that sugar craving comes from but yeah i mean it's incredible i love these products yeah these products are amazing you guys and um the slim is so amazing so so amazing um so one of the things that plexus is really good about is our products really play off of each other. They build each one up. So each product helps the other one and adds value to the other one. So um, she talked about the slim and I'm gonna talk about the probio and the, the bio cleanse. But really quick, one of the things, cause I'm gonna use a garden analogy about your gut and about your body. Um, just recently, last summer, they added in another ingredient with that chromium that is a prebiotic. And if you think about a, a prebiotic, you think about a garden, and you think about when you go out to your garden and you're saying, I want to I wanna plant some tomato plants. I want to plant some flowers or whatever you want to plant. Uh, there's a couple of things that need to be done. You need to have fertilizer. You need to weed your garden. And you need to remove the weeds from your garden, put the proper nutrients into your garden because you can plant all you want, but nothing's going to grow if you don't do those things. So in that slim, they added a gut fertilizer, a prebiotic that works really, really well. And so with that said, I'm going to talk about these two babies, which are so wonderful. I love these. I consider these to be like the shovel and the wheelbarrow of the garden. Because in your body, you know, like she was saying, your, bl your blood sugar is going up and down and it's affecting your hormones. It's affecting your cravings, your moods. But you also, another huge factor besides your blood sugar is your gut. And your gut is like this wonderful garden that has to have certain things to grow. I mean, if you think about the three things that for a garden outside is sun, water, and air. In our garden, we need a certain amount of things too. So we need to get our garden weeded. And that is why I love ProBio5. Mm -hmm. Okay, so ProBio5, you guys, is multifaceted. It's not simply a probiotic, but it is a probiotic. So you're getting those good buggies in your body and um, you have, you know, you were born, we're all born with bad bugs and good bugs. And so you get these good bugs put in, but you also have an enzyme blend that goes into your body. And it's a wonderful enzyme blend that goes in and breaks down and attacks the yeast and keeps it level. So while your blood sugar is getting nice and balanced, like Emily said, you're also getting your gut nice and balanced by breaking down fungus. So um, there's a common misconception that we can just put in good bacteria and the good bacteria will outweigh the bad. 
But that was one of my issues when, when I, before I came into Plexus, I bought high end probiotics, $72 a bottle, you know, 500 uh, billion strain, or not strains, 500 billion strands and several different strains. So there's lots of different things you can get. Um, but I still had all my symptoms. I still had all my issues. My son still couldn't eat foods um, until we got this. And that's why I love this. You've got to think about when you're in your garden and you go out there and you, you put flowers down or you put vegetables down, what do you, you have to weed the garden. And that's what I consider this to be, a weeder and a feeder. Um, so it's companion product is the BioCleanse. And this is a wonderful magnesium supplement, but it's not just that. Um, I like to think of it as the wheelbarrow because it gets things out in a smooth way. But it's also, you guys, it has a bonded oxygen molecule. So your body gets, it's kind of like adding in some extra fertilizer. It's adding in like a kind of an environment that makes it hard for bad bacteria to take root. So that's why these two products are amazing. And so when you're putting these three products together and you're balancing your blood sugar, you're getting your gut balanced out your fungal and your yeast balances level and normal your body doesn't really like sugar mm -hmm. matter of fact you will taste it and it will be all right and you may have to water down your lemonade my kids water down their lemonade now um, our first halloween after we started plexus and we all my kids are on this system um we sat around the table with the halloween candy and everybody was just like wow, this, it's not very good. I mean, even my eight-year-old. So um, it's amazing what they do. We love what they do. And they, they help you to say no. And, and I would say, wouldn't you say, Emily, that like there's still sugar in the world, but now mm -hmm. it's an enjoyment. It's kind of like coffee. We don't need it, but you may still eat it. Like we eat it, we enjoy it, but it doesn't rule us or reign us yeah. anymore. And so whatever you're doing, whatever dietary things you're doing, whole 30, keto, if you're, you know, you're a clean eater, if you're not a clean eater, if you're a fast food junkie, the triplex is an amazing support to the body because of the reasons that Emily was saying with the blood sugar and then with the gut health. So it's just, it's an amazing trio, you guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. So I agree hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we wanted to give you guys some homework. <laughs> um, we wanted you guys to, the friend that invited you to this event or even into this group and gut health and happiness, each of them has a story with sugar and you would be amazed to hear it. All, everybody that's on Plexus has had some changes, whether they're in the process or not. So we are going to challenge you guys to go ask the person that invited you uh, what their story with sugar is so that you can hear their results. And um, another thing that we also wanted to encourage you to do is in this group, there's some tags and you can go up to the top of the group and find sugar tags and you can learn more about sugar, what it does and read some testimonies. So that's what I've got. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love these products. I mean, they've changed my life, literally changed my life. So um, I love that homework because everybody does have a sugar story of some sort, whether you're on my end and you're eating all the junk you can possibly eat, you know, and it's just complete junk or you're eating, you know, you're crunchy and you're eating all the good things, right? <laughs> everybody. Well, it was good junk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the good junk. Um, everybody has a story. So go, like Allison said, talk to your friend that invited you to this group, find out what their story is and let them help you work on your story because if you are struggling with sugar, you don't have to. There is a way out, and we just explained it to you. It's with blood sugar balance and gut health. Um, so get with them. Find out, you know, how you can get a hold of these products and get your sugar testimony. And that's it. We're so, so happy that y'all joined us tonight. We had fun. I hope y'all had fun. And... We can't wait to hear your story. So if you have a story, post it here in the comments and let other people see it too, because that is a great, great way to spread your testimony and, you know, give some hope to other people too. So that's all we have for tonight. I hope everybody's had a good time and we will catch y'all next time. Bye. Bye.